So Blender version 5.0 was just recently released, and if you'd like to learn about all the new features and updates, you can check out this page here on Blender's website, link is in the description. And over the following days, I'll be posting some videos on my YouTube channel covering some of the new features. But in this video, I wanted to let you know about a really cool delta time jump feature that's been added to Blender's timeline. So in Blender version 5.0, if you look right down here on the timeline, you can see here are the new delta time jump options. Now there are two main options for this delta time jump. There is frame and there is second. And then there is the delta value. So I'm going to leave it as the default using seconds with the delta at 1. So now when I click on the delta time jump arrows, it's going to move over by 1 second. Whereas normally if I just use the left and right arrows on the keyboard, it's only going to move by 1 frame. But with the delta time jump, it's going to move by 1 second. And that is because I have the jump unit set to seconds and then the deltas to 1. Now if I change the delta to like a 2, now if I go back to the starting here and then just click on the arrows to move it back and forth, it's going to jump by 2 seconds instead. Now the amount of frames that it's going to jump for one frame depends on your frame rate. And so right now if I go back to the starting and play this, you can see it's jumping every 24 frames. And that is because if I go right here to the output properties, the default frame rate is set to 24 frames per second in Blender. And so you can see it's going to jump every 24 frames. Or if I set this to like 2, then it's going to jump 2. So instead of 24, it's going to be every 48 frames. Now the shortcut key for this is to hold down the control key and then use the arrows. So normally if you just use the left and right arrows, it's just going to move per frame. But if you hold down control and then use the arrows, then it's going to use whatever your delta time jump settings have been set to. Now as well as using seconds, I could also use frame instead. So I'll change it to frame. And then there is the delta value. So if I just turn it to one, now you can see if I click here on the delta time jump, it's just going to move by one frame. But let's say I may be blocking out the poses of a character for an animation. And so maybe I just want to jump every 5 or 10 frames. Well here on the delta I could maybe just type in 10 and then if I go back to the starting and use the arrows here or use the control left arrow or control right arrow, you can see it's just going to move over every 10 frames. So this again is going to be very useful for animating, especially when you're animating characters and you're blocking out the poses of the character. Because the standard workflow when you're animating characters is that you start out with a blocking phase where you block out all the main poses and then later you can change the timing of it and then you can change the interpolation mode so that it smoothly moves between each pose. Now this could also be useful for adding keyframes at specific points. So maybe you're doing some sort of animation and you just want to make sure that there's a keyframe every 10 frames or every 20 frames or maybe every one second or every five second. So I'll just do a very simple animation for example. So let's say I want to change it to second and then I'll change the delta to one. So I'll just turn on the auto key and just move the cube here. Then I'll control right arrow and I'll just move the cube up, control right arrow again, and I'll move the cube over. So now when I play this, there's going to be exactly a second in between each one of these keyframes. So this is a super useful feature for animating. I don't do a ton of animation in Blender, but definitely when I do animation, I'm sure I'll be using this feature. So let me know what you think of this feature in the comments and let me know if you're gonna be using it in your projects. And if you'd like to watch more of my animation tutorials, I have a few animation tutorials to recommend. So I have a video on animation for beginners. I also have a video on the basics of animation and keyframes and then I also have a graph editor for beginners and the graph editor is a really useful feature for animating so if you're more of a beginner to animation and you want to learn more about animation then I definitely recommend those three videos and links will be in the video description to those videos so I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching